Hello everyone, and uh, welcome to this brief little addendum, this little add-on, this little extra bonus we got from the world uh, completions, the, the map completion, uh, the Black Lion Key farm that's been going on, a thousand map completions. The Heart of Maguma maps, in particular, give a little bit of something extra each time you finish them. And you may have missed it, but uh, some of you may not have. But uh, by doing 13 completions there, We've gotten 13 of each of these things. The Gift of the Fleet, the Gift of Tarir, the Gift of the Chak, and the Gift of the Jungle from the four Heart of Thorns for maps, respectively. Now, what these things together can make is, of course, the Gift of Maguma, so, which is key, and I'll show you in a second what that can do, but here we go. Let's get some. Forge. All right, refill, forge, refill, forge, refill, forge, refill, forge, refill, forge. It's only a shame I have to click twice. Refill, forge. <laughs> if I didn't have to move my hand at all, this would be a lot better. Refill, forge, refill, forge, refill, forge, refill, forge. Refill, forge, and refill and forge. There we go. We now have 13 gifts of Maguma on top of the already 18 I had in my bank. So, yeah. <laughs> so here we are. That's what we've got. Now, what is this good for? You might be asking. And it is good for the gift of Maguma Mastery. One gift of Maguma, one gift of Insights, one Bloodstone Shard, and 250 Crystalline Ingots will get you the gift of Maguma Mastery. The Insights uh, is obtained by the three currencies from the first three Heart of Thorns maps. Combine all those currencies together, buy them from the attendants at the different maps. Uh, the next thing is uh, from, the, from the Mystic Forge attendant, buy yourself a Bloodstone Shard. Uh, it's very easy, just 200 of, uh, of these little devils, the spirit shards, uh, not a hard thing. You should always have plenty of those lying about. Uh, and then you also have the crystalline ingot, which is uh, made from crystalline ore, which is, can only be found in the Dragon Stand map. So you're going to have to do the Dragon Stand multiple times probably to get enough of these from the pods. Uh, you also combine it with some fulgurite, some globs of ectoplasm, and amalgamated gemstones, and that's what you, you do it 250 times over, and that you'll have what you need. Uh, amalgamated gemstones are very vital uh, to a lot of things in the game. Make sure you amass as many as humanly possible. Uh, the gift of Maguma Mastery, once you've got it, can be used to make all of these legendaries. And legendary is uh, used to be just about uh, used to be just about prestige and a skin and maybe some cool footfalls. But now, because of the legendary armory, it is absolutely essential for a quality of life in the end game because it can do so much more now. I mean, you just attain one uh, dagger. And now you've got a dagger on every character that needs a dagger. You don't ever have to worry about ascend it again for daggers, except unless you want to do it wield, and then you can just get another one. So anyway, you can make all of these uh, with the gift of Maguma Mastery. You can also make them with the gift, some of them anyway, with the gift of Desert Mastery, which I'll provide a link below for how to make the gift of Desert Mastery. I've already done that video, and that about wraps it up. And I'll see you next time.